Hello and welcome to Capital Markets Update. I'm Peter Rigby and today is Thursday, March 14th, 2013. Five years ago, you could have picked up bonds of the U.S. home builders for as little as 50 cents on the dollar. Today, almost all of those bonds price well over par, some as high as 125% of par. Prices of homes have also improved, but not by that much. Overall, U.S. housing fundamentals improved throughout 2012 and that's continuing into 2013. Competing inventories of new and existing homes, strengthening home prices, rising rates for rentals and apartments, and low interest mortgages are driving much better operating environments for home builders. In fact, new home sales surged up by almost 16% in January to an annual rate of 437,000. That's the strongest gain since 2008. Nevertheless, we don't expect rating upgrades in the sector because our ratings already include our expectations for a recovery but not a recovery as strong as we expect for the broader U.S. economy. Yet, our ratings outlooks have significantly improved over the last 12 months. Take a look. By the end of 2008, 95% of our ratings on the U.S. homebuilders had negative outlooks. Only 5% were stable. Conditions improved going into 2012, but today, 78% are stable and 13% have positive outlooks. Only 9% still have negative outlooks. Improving fortunes for home builders are certainly showing up in the bond markets. Let's take a look. For those home builders with actively traded or quoted bonds, yields on five-year maturities range from about 3.6% to 5.8%. A year ago, these yields ranged from 5% to 9%, a drop of about 3% across the group. Bonds for the two double B-plus stable companies in the group yield 4% for Toll Brothers Finance and 3.6% for MDC Holdings. That's close to the S&P double B plus benchmark of 4.3%. Two notches lower at double B minus are four more. DR Horton, which has a positive outlook, yields 4.3%. Pulte Group yields 3.98%. Ryland yields 4.7%. And Lanier yields 4.8%. Standard Pacific's senior unsecured bond, which we rate single B, yields 4.3%. That's 3% less than a year ago. The rating on this bond, however, falls one notch lower than the single B-plus stable corporate rating because in a default scenario, we expect lenders to recover only 10 to 30 percent of principal. Next, single B-rated KB Homes yields 5.5 percent. A year ago, the yield was as high as 9.1 percent. And finally, Hovnanian Enterprises tops the list at 5.7 percent. Last year, I raised the possibility about whether bond spreads could be a leading indicator of home prices. It does look as though falling bond spreads did lead the rise in the Case-Shiller Index. Take a look. After October 2011, following their three-year peak, average home builder spreads started to fall rapidly. Yet it wasn't until about March 2012 that the S&P Case-Shiller Home Price Index really started to pick up. Another indication that the bond market may have anticipated rising home prices happened when the average home builder bond spread curve moved from trading wider than the double B minus corporate and consumer discretionary benchmarks to trading tighter by June 2012. Since peaking at 754 basis points, the average home builder bond spread has fallen 42% to 340 basis points. Bond spreads against the asset swap curve for the nation's home builders have retreated as bond pricing have, has recovered. In the secondary market, for instance, all of Pulte Group's bonds price well above par now, except for its 2035 maturity. Take a look. Single B rated KB Homes is pricing at about 438 basis points, half the spread of last year's 828 basis points. A double B plus, one of the higher rated builders, MDC Holdings, is pricing at about 256 basis points. A year ago, it was over 500 basis points. Toll Brothers, also at double B plus, is pricing at about 300 basis points. As with many bonds in the speculative grade rated space, home builder bonds are almost all pricing at a premium to par. However, we rate this industry as speculative grade. Take a look. 96% of our ratings fall into the speculative grade rating categories. 43% reside in the single B category and another 43% are in the double B category. Only 4% are left in investment grade. But credit quality has improved over the last year as the percentage of single B category ratings fell and the double Bs increased. Well, there you have it. Bond spreads have tremendously tightened in this sector since peaking in October 2011, almost 50% on average. Our ratings, however, already consider that we expect the industry to recover throughout 2013 and beyond.
but 78% of the ratings have stable outlooks, meaning we don't expect too many rating changes this year. The bond market seems to agree, as most bonds are pricing close to our market-based benchmark curves. Thanks for listening in, and join me next time for a Capital Markets Update.